Yo, what up guys? So like my business is worth a lot of money because I've been making YouTube videos. I've been worried about vandalism, theft, all types of bullshit. Um, so I'm gonna weld a lock onto my van so that way nobody can get in and steal my ridiculously expensive equipment. This one, probably gonna cost you like maybe $100 um, plus material from me. And I think it's worth it because I'll pretty much buy a bunch of locks and we can lock up whatever the fuck you want to lock up. So, um, yeah, it doesn't have to be just a car. I'm going to show this one as an example. So here we go. All righty. Hopefully I can get a, a decent weld on this. It's kind of low key thin as fuck. So we'll see. That's telling me is that I need way more heat. Turn it down a little bit. I'm trying not to blast through this. So low key car paint is really flammable. So when you do this, you have to be careful. Gotta make sure you have like water on standby and like you're opening the door, making sure that there's no fire behind this door. You know what I mean? Fire is one of, fire is one of the worst things for fucking cars, okay? Cause car paint's flammable as fuck. You got gasoline, it's fucking dangerous, okay? So I'm not encouraging you to do this at home. That's why you pay some guy like me. Okay, because I know what the fuck I'm doing. That caught on fire. I was able to put it out with my hand. Okay, it's my breath. And now I have a really sturdy O ring on here. So, okay, so I'm gonna go with a full pen weld. So I welded that, tacked it up on that side, got a pretty good weld, but I'm gonna grind it down this side. I'm gonna go really hot and I'm gonna flash tack it all the way up. Hopefully, my settings are correct for what I wanna do. For, for what I want to do. So. Let's turn up my wire speed a little bit more. important to grind off a lot of paint but I left it like that so I'm gonna show you how to fix that because that's actually pretty easy to fix especially if you've got a can of like black spray paint or tape or whatever so here's how it looks on this side obviously a lot better weld than that side that's why we're gonna grind this side out and get a better weld on that side careful because you could burn up your fucking gaskets in here and try to keep it away from all that shit and pour water on it I don't like to pour water on it because then now I'm contaminating and it's fucking low key wet everywhere. So I'm gonna use this to smother the fire out. Make sure that there's no fire in or underneath any sort of paint. Because the fire can sometimes get underneath the paint and you have no fucking clue. Obviously not the best for my fucking paint, but I'm gonna overpaint this shit. Yeah, so you 
see how I grinded it all the way down to like basically the root. I'm gonna take my welder, I'm gonna go back up the pass and hopefully I can make it look as nice as that one. And that will be, I will be confident that it's a strong weld. <laughs> Yo, so here's like the finished product. I put it on here, it just locks in real quick. And this doesn't have to be your car, this can be your house, this can be your home, whatever the fuck, you know. My car is locked, you know, and, and what it is is they could easily get through there. So now you can do this. And we, we wanted to scourge people and block and make it way harder for them to actually be able to get in. Um, so if you're like me and you live in the Los Angeles area and you can't leave literally anything out because they will take it, hit me up. 714-912-5772. Here I am. Guaranteed you won't pay more than like $500 for what you want to do. So that's like my thing is like I want to make sure that you could actually afford this shit because I figured you already got your shit stolen and you need to like, you know, pay and get another one. So here, here's some cheap lock services. Um, and I also know locksmiths too. So if you need like anything more advanced, let me know.